Hi, aloha, this is Matt Mika with ProFit. Happy to help you with your workout today. We're doing some TRX yoga. So TRX means total body resistance exercise. The yoga adds in that extra stretch part. So it's easy to get some strength work, but uh, again, with the yoga, we're going for that length today as well. And you, the TRX is gonna help us get some traction. So this is TRX, right? These bands, maybe you've seen them in uh, gym. So now it's time to learn how to use them. Now, today, I got Bibby helping me, and I got Adam on the end. All right, so here we go. So, a little quick intro to the TRX bands. These little cushy parts, I'm gonna call the handles. That's what they're called, actually. The foot cradles are the lower loops. Sometimes I call them lower loops, but foot cradles are lower loops. Right. Other thing here is the, uh, the locking loop. There's a lock up here. You don't want them to, you don't want to saw. You, know, you want to keep it right in the middle. And sometimes I'll refer to the attachment point. That's where the, uh, the TRX hooks up to whatever you're hooking it up to. Sometimes um, if you're doing a home use, there's a door frame you can hook it up to. Otherwise, you really try to find a spot where you can get 360 to really swing around as much as possible like we're going to do right now. Okay, so guys, go ahead, grab your handles. Right, and let's go ahead and fly around here. So we're just going to move around right, and check out your space. So what they're not doing right, is they're not getting slack on the, on the straps. You're keeping constant pressure on the slack. I can go swing around, go back, you kind of check in, right? What they're also not doing is they're not scraping, right? So they're keeping their straps away from their body, not scraping their body, that hurts, don't do that. <laughs> go like this instead, away from your body. Good, all right. So facing uh, this way, guys, and just swinging backwards. All right. So first thing here, yeah, just sit your butt on the ground. Right on the ground. Chin to chest. Big breath to your back. So already feeling the uh, straps giving us a little pull, right? You don't want your arms coming out of your shoulders. You want to keep a soft bend to your elbows. Good. Let's take uh, both handles together. Your left hand, left hand, and your uh, lower loops, your foot cradles. Right arm goes behind you, just hang out. Maybe you lift chest up a little bit more. And if you pull your shoulder blade in just a little, it gives you that extra safety. Right. So simple here, big rainbow arm. As you exhale, just touch the strap as far up as you can go. Inhale, arm goes way back. Yeah. Exhale, touch that strap. Good, two more big ones. You're trying to sink your movement up with your breath. Awesome. All right. And next time you come up, stay up. Right hand has both, both foot cradles. Left arm goes up. Left arm goes way behind you. Hang out for a couple. Again, maybe pull shoulder blade back up. Lift heart up. We got some beautiful Hawaii sun now looking down at us. So enjoying it here. All right. And on your next exhale, big arm. Touch your strap. Yep. Three more times. And make sure you're not holding your breath. Yoga means union, so we're really trying to get that mind, body, heart connection. Right. Next time you come up, guys, just staying up good. Again, let's go a little deeper here. Both hands to your handles. Try, uh, try leaning forward a little. So feet a little wider so you can get a little round over in your back. Breathing into your back. So we're going to set intention here now. So if there's a devotion, affirmation, a prayer, a wish, something you want to ask for today. Yeah, how can this workout help you? Let's name that in your heart and your breath. And let's start moving now. Both hands to your foot cradles, feet forward. As you exhale, front to back. Inhale uh, back, exhale forward. Yeah, so it's called a pendulum, of, pendulum effect. The straps are pulling you forward. Yeah, so if you're behind the attachment point like we are, yeah, getting that gentle pull forward. It's going to help you get out of your low back, go deeper into your forward bend. Right. So next time you come up, let's stay up. Crossing your right foot up over your left knee, right foot up over your left knee. Try forward bending here and stop. So as you're coming forward, the right foot cupping your left kneecap is going to add a little more resistance. Your job, breathe into where you feel it. All right, 
to sit on back. So simple. Little hop, bring left foot up. So hopping left foot in. And then using your arm string, pull forward. Trying to get chest on thigh. Maybe you can take hands up to your handles. Even more of a pull, right? Make yourself small. Yeah. It's kind of nice here. Try a little rock to your right. Yeah, Cause you got your uh, right hip open here. See if you can just get into your right uh, glute muscles, pectiformis, little massage. Good, now let's keep these legs as they are. Yeah, handles back to your foot cradles, your lower loops. Drop your legs over to the left. So you're sitting down, your right butt's on the ground. Let's get your left elbow up over your front knee, your top knee, that's your right knee right there. Now, in regular yoga class, you don't have anything, you're just kind of hanging out here. But in, with TRX yoga, you have something to pull up from. So with your left arm, yeah, pulling up, right hand behind you as close as you can to your hip to give you lots of traction to make your, separate your vertebrae, get your back even longer as you exhale, right shoulder going back, good. Every inhale again, pull up, every exhale, right shoulder back. Awesome. Now keep the rotation to the right, just turn your head, look over left shoulder, relax your jaw. Now, changing legs looks like this. Left foot comes forward enough so that your right knee can drop on top of your left foot. If you look down, you're making a triangle with your legs. Try both hands to your foot cradles or maybe your handles. Leaning forward, trying to get chest on your legs. I'll tell you what, keep going. Uh, you guys keep going, but for some of you, right, if that's way too much, right, you're just gonna straighten out that left leg again, come on forward from there. Lots of big breath. Keep adjusting for comfort, like I'm just kind of shaking it off a little. Make sure you feel okay about where you're at. Otherwise, it's just too distracting. Go back to your breath. Make sure you can feel and hear your breath. Good on that. And coming up, let's separate your straps. Left foot back up. Yeah, so left knee bends. Now you may have to pull forward just a little bit. You'll figure out in a second as you exhale, left foot comes up. Inhale, left foot goes down. Exhale, left foot comes up. Here's a good place to look at your attachment point. Head is up, chest lifting through your shoulders, maybe shoulders back just a little. Good, now next time you exhale, can you stay up? Beautiful, left foot pulls you down onto your right leg, your back, and your forward bend. Nice, let's go make big circle here, big circle. And we're trying to uncover those nooks and crannies that uh, could just be wake, woken up in some way. Yeah, try reverse circle. How's that feel, guys? Yeah. It really is big self-massage, it's nice. Okay, next time you exhale, yeah, let's just lean forward again, whatever your lean is. Yeah, everyone, lift your right elbow up, peek underneath your right arm. Inhale, come center. Other side, lift your left elbow up, peek underneath left arm. Good, to look up as you exhale, nose past your toes, how flat can you get? Toes reaching back toward your face. All right, and coming up, we have another side to do. It's your left foot cups your right kneecap. Left foot cupping right kneecap. To exhale, forward bending. Yeah, and even if you're not moving on the outside, move on the inside. Use your breath. To sit back. Here's your hop back with your right foot. Big hop. Yeah. To cordy in your body flat. So maybe walking hands up onto those handles. Maybe you can squeeze in just a little bit more. Yeah, there's that, maybe a little lean or rocking over towards your left. Good. All right, now keeping your legs as they are, both hands in your foot cradles again. Drop your legs over to the right. Now first thing you wanna do is get your left butt on the ground your right hand has the foot cradles. 
Right elbow up and over your left knee, left hand behind you. So pulling up, sitting tall. As you exhale, left shoulder back. Keep going, every inhale, pull up. Find some liberation in your back. Exhale, left shoulder back. Relaxing your jaw. Keep this rotation, just turn your head, look over right shoulder. Good, good. Double pigeon. So bring your left foot, uh, right foot forward enough so that uh, your left knee drops right over the right foot. Right. If you look down, you're making that triangle shape again with your legs. Yeah. Hands on handles, foot cradles, whatever feels best, leaning forward. Now maybe it's a little, maybe it's a lot. Really practicing surrender. The posture is the effort. And just after that, it's all about you breathing and letting go. Good, one more huge breath. Make a big breath. Awesome, to pull yourself up out of that. Both hands definitely in your foot cradles. Right foot back on the ground. Chest pops forward through your shoulders as you exhale. Right toes up and down, inhale down, exhale up. Maybe you get your toes, just touch the strap. Yeah. And again, if you cannot do that, maybe just try pull forward a little bit more. Maybe a little bit easier for you. Head is looking up at attachment point. And next time you exhale, yes, let your leg pull you down under your feet. Good job, both sides. Let's take feet together now. Feet together, both hands together, holding the foot cradles. Big, stir the pot. Big pot of Portuguese soup. Keep going. It's all about range of motion. How far back, how far forward, how to the sides. Try other direction. Do a lean forward a little bit, lean forward a little bit. Take your left elbow on your left knee, left elbow, left knee, right arm opens. Now, the strap is naturally not gonna help the arm up, but not only out, but up a little. Yeah, maybe you can look up to top handles as you use your left elbow to help your left knee closer to the ground. Good, one more huge breath. It's all about finding space, find that lift. And let's do other side, other side. Left hand has both foot cradles, right elbow on your right knee. Yeah. One more big breath. And pulling it back down, good. Good job. Knees together, feet together. As you exhale, both feet come up. Inhale down, exhale up. Now for some of you, right, maybe enough just to get your feet up a little bit. For more, you're trying to reach for those straps. Use your exhale when your legs come up. How about straps together, little can-can. Feet go on either side of the strap. Just mixing it up. Awesome. And one more big one, your biggest one yet, whatever that is. All right, feet, hip distance on the ground. Feet hip distance. Hands up to your handles. So dig your heels into the ground. As you exhale, handles up to your armpits. <sighs> Come on up. Inhale, butt back down, touch the ground. Exhale, <sighs> handles to your armpits. Just easy up and down. By the way, these straps are gonna hold 350 pounds. All right, so feel safe in that. Do one more big one, one more big one. To stay up. Now push down on your handles. Lean forward, forward bend. Again, the straps are pulling you out of your low back. Nice. Just light on the handles. Nice. Good. Right. Now, not only sitting up, but let's turn around. So I'll turn around, so facing to your right. And then walking out, walking out. Walking out as far as you can. So open hands, like fingers, 
It's nice and light on the handles. And keep walking out. Chest lifts. Little tiny baby steps here. So the smaller steps you take, again, you're going to feel uh, the straps pulling you back, but not too far. Make sure it feels okay in the shoulders. Nice. Good. Now, let's all take a big step backward, a big step backward. All right. So simple here. Left hand goes down, right arm up towards sky. So that's it. Left hand down, looking up at that right hand, maybe leaning forward a little bit. Lots of breath. So what I like about the air element too, it really reminds us to be light, not so heavy in our strength. Good, we're gonna do the same thing other side, just hands together, right hand drops, yeah, pushing hips out, and just uh, looking up. Breathing in that good salt air, one more big breath here. And both handles up towards the sky. And we're going to take another big step back, another big step back. Your feet are hip distance now. We're doing some squats, so simple. Make sure your toes facing forward, knees going to go over your toes as you exhale. <sighs> down and up, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, down and up. Good. So actually, Adam, have your toes in come in just a little bit more. Your toes, that's it. Yeah, not, not pigeon toe, but just uh, exactly <laughs> run to back. Going up and down, perfect, good. It's really about alignment, just really checking in. Just as long as knees tracking over the toes, that's most important. Good. Now I'm going to add some arms to that. Right. So when you come down, let's take your arms down to your sides, both arms behind you. Exhale, come on back up. Exactly. So that little lean forward. Now if it's, it doesn't feel quite right, you make those adjustments. Maybe you have to move your feet back a little bit more. Right. Just feel like you could do this a lot. <laughs> Now, next time you come up, let's add something here. Come up on your toes. So watch them come up on your toes. Exactly. So we're just adding layers in. Inhale down, exhale up. Suspending right? on those push toes, especially big and second toe. Good. Nice. Now, next time you inhale, let's stay down, stay down. So heels on the ground, kind of lean forward a little bit more. Nice. And let's take your arms up, arms up, just your arms up. Good, lots of big breath. Two, straighten your legs. Arms to your sides like airplane. And then forward bending, forward bending. So this way, yeah, arms going behind you, the straps are pulling your chest back on your thigh. Nice. Good, good, good. All right, and arms up towards the sky. You're gonna stay the side, just walk forward a little bit. Let's turn toward the camera, so turn your right there. So we're facing, we're gonna start with some biceps here, biceps, so simple. Feet are hip distance, as you exhale, palms down, handles to your temples. Inhale, go back, exhale, handles to your temples. By the way, I didn't mention, this is gonna be an all over body workout with, again, that extra stretch element. So a couple things here. Easy enough just to go in and out. If you want to intensify this, try taking your feet together. We're trying to destabilize you a little bit more. Even more fun, one foot up. You can play with this. As long as you don't move, uh, lose your breath and as long as you're moving with your breath. Yeah. Keep going. More intensity, you walk your feet forward just a little bit. You can try that. And try that, how that works to really go for a, a way deeper workout. More intensity, two more. Good. The next time you're up, let's stay up. Good, up, uh, my bad. Come back, <laughs> to push down rather. Push down, you're leaning forward in that forward bend again. Let's take your right leg off the ground. Right leg off the ground. Now check it out, right foot is flexed, right toes point down, and so does your hips, your hips are level. Bending and straightening your left leg. Bend your left knee, exhale, straighten it. Simple one-legged press. Good, you're moving with your breath. Next time you inhale, let's stay up. Try right hand holding both handles, right hand holding both handles. 
Can you fly left arm off to your left? For more, how about left hand low back twisting to your left? For more, left arm up towards sky, lots of breath. Good. Let's switch your hands out. Left hand has the handles. Now, open up your hips, so that means right hip stacking on top of left, right toes pointing out, that's where your hips go. For more, right arm up towards the sky, make a big plus sign. Yeah, maybe you can see your top hand, lots of breath. Woo, go slow. And for more fun, how about kick your right foot in, right hand holding your right ankle. Good, it can melt into that even more. Good on that. Okay, both hands back to your handle. Swing your right leg through. Swing your right leg throw, through. Cross your right foot over your left knee. You do that on the ground. Come to your squat. Soften your left leg, your standing leg. Maybe just a little down. You'll feel this. It's good. For more, right? Leaning farther forward. Try to get chest on thighs. And for more, how about a forward bend? Lift your hips up. Good. Nice. One more big breath. Nice, everyone. Let's take a big step out with your right leg. Walk it out. Good. We're going to turn toward the camera for some push-ups. All right, so we're here. Again, your strap is not going to touch your body. Arms are weight. Wrists aren't broken. Try a little pushing up and down. Inhale down, exhale up. So you're exhaling on the exertion. We talked about intensity where you can take your feet together. Play with that. Here, if you walk your feet backward, it'll be more intense. Maybe one foot up. And again, just play. You're trying to challenge yourself physically and mentally. Maybe emotionally too, right? Good. Use your exhale. One more big one. Nice and nice, guys. And just stopping here in a forward bend, so walking backwards. So you're pretty much underneath your attachment point. Yeah, to take your arms forward. And yeah, maybe arms off to your side or behind you to really go deep. Just relaxing head down. Good on that. All right. Let's start other side. Starting with some tricep work. So walking out, gonna start at your ending spot, which is your uh, handles holding your, uh, at your temples. Elbows in, as you exhale, push out. Inhale in, exhale out. To intensify this, walk your feet backward. Take one foot up. Remember, how is your body yoga in? Working as one piece, all with your breath. Breath is your oil. Make sure you're switching feet if you haven't yet. Wherever you are, two more big ones. Good on triceps. Everyone just turn to your right, turn to your right. Good. To stop underneath your attachment point. Left leg lifts up, left leg lifts up for some single leg presses. Yeah, try arms off to your side for a little less intensity. For more intensity, arms forward. How low can you go? Light on your handles, good. Keeping your heel on the ground. Good. Left toes pointing down, hips level. One more big one. The next time you're up, let's stay up. Both handles in your left hand. Right hand, let's try right hand on your low back first. That'll right shoulder pointing your way to twist to your right for more right arm up towards sky. Keep your left leg high as much as you keep those hips level. Good, now be strong in this, switching hands. Right hand has both handles. Open up your hip, left hip stacks, left arm up towards sky. For more, can you look up? Good. For more, how about kick left foot in? 
Left hand finding left ankle. Just like you did on the other side, melt into this. Now pushing down on your handles, swing your left leg through. Left leg comes through, let's cross it over your right knee. Come to your squat, soften your standing leg, your right leg. Maybe arms off to your side so you can get a little more space to go deeper. And for more, you lifted your hips. So lengthening out your standing leg. One more big breath. Nice job stepping forward out of that on your left foot. Coming back toward the middle. We're going to do some push-ups again. Yeah, this time different. Feet together. Try right leg off to your right, 90 degrees. Up and down. Whew, working out. Good thing. Nice. Right, let's try other side, other side, feet together. Left leg, 90 degrees to your left. See, already I'm feeling at this pull, so I gotta adjust myself. There's two more big ones, two more big ones. Nice, awesome, and coming out of this. Good, so we're gonna walk backwards. Do some shoulder work, shoulder work. But before we do a little break here, feet hip distance, this is gonna feel good. So dig your heels into the ground, walk forward, your butt comes up towards the sky. And have just to let your head fall back. The farther you walk forward, the more you pull your handles up towards your hips, the more your head can go back eventually, head on the ground. Lots of big breath, feels really good. Now let's walk backward. Walk backward out of that. Walk backward out of that. Now we'll do shoulder work. Okay. Simple. Hip, uh, feet, shoulder width. <sighs> Arms off to your side. Inhale together. Exhale. <sighs> like you're hugging. Big tree. <sighs> so slight round of your arms. Nice. More intensity, right? You had your feet together. One foot. Play with that. More intensity, maybe feet farther forward. Doesn't take a lot to really intensify this. Let's do one more. Same motion, but just switching arm. Up and down. Switch arms up and down. Like big shark jaws, up and down. Another option when you come up, how about come up on your toes? You're light on your toes. Don't hold your breath. <sighs> Breathe now or pay later. <sighs> Good. You feel this? <laughs> All right. Let's try making Y arms. Big Y. <sighs> y for you. <sighs> Good. Couple more. Couple more. <sighs> let's finish this. If that's plenty, you stay there. For more, though, let's make I arms. Arms straight up. Two more big ones, finish strong. I'm gonna watch you guys do these. Straight up, good. Nice. And let's rest in a forward bend. Come on forward. Good, let's turn toward the camera here to take your feet out really wide. Toes in, heels out. Just swing it. Swing it side to side. That's again. If that's work, what you just did, go for the release. That's balance. That's all yoga. All right. Let's bring it down here, dropping to your knees. Yeah, just simple child's pose here, sitting down. Nice if you take your handles together, elbows in, and let your head hang. It really is about going for the feel good. This is a feel good right here. Okay. And sitting up, gonna, not like we haven't been working on core already, but we're gonna work core a little deeper. So, with knees together, like you're gonna mow the grass. 
Inhale, go in. Exhale, go out. It's like those little rollers with the wheel. Same idea. Again, not collapsing totally in your arms. A little slight bend to your elbows. Okay, a little different. Go off to your sides in a V shape. So, off to your left, and then back on the same line. So pull it in strong to your other side, or to your right. And then same line, pull it back on that same line. Good, try to keep going side to side. What's gonna happen is when you go to the side, the strap is naturally gonna to wanna to come back. Don't let it. Yeah. Coming back in. Yeah. So going back the same way you came in. Working at your own pace. Really playing with those edges, right? You feel that juicy spot, that, that intense place. Maybe you can take a breath there and then pull it back in. Let's do one more big one. Good, good. Okay, okay and resting in the middle. Good job on that. Stop here. Here's your second little uh, back break. Hands on your strap. So let go of your handles. <laughs> Be free of the handles. Hands at your face that high, elbows in. Now lift up, exhale, press your hips toward the strap. Keep your hands right there, lift up higher, so get off your low back, press your hips toward the strap. Squeeze heels in, and really this is super traction here. Separate your vertebrae. Nice, and let's let that one go. All right, we're using our foot cradles now as foot cradles. So let's take your right foot, in both foot cradles, right foot in both foot cradles. That means your right knee will be on the ground, left foot, take a huge step forward. As long as your left knee is over your left ankle. Hands off to your side. As you exhale, can you get your right knee to go up and down? Inhale, right knee down. Exhale, right knee up. Now, if that's too low for your hands, you can use a block, books, small dogs. Use your exhale up. Nice. That's not so bad. Next time knee comes down, let's keep it down. Right, just to walk your hands up onto your knee, hands up onto your knee. A little push forward here. Now, when you push forward, make sure your knee's still over ankle. If it's not, move your foot forward even more. You feel it here in your hip flexor. Try one arm up. Yeah. Try both arms up. Yeah, and just try head and shoulders back, head and heart looking up. Beautiful. Good. Palms together. Right elbow over your left knee. Hands at your heart. So you can get a little rotation here. Left shoulder going back. And if this feels okay, Use your core strength as you exhale, can you get your right knee to come up? Lots of breath. If you look at the ground, right, it'd be a little less wobbly. Good. Put your right knee back on the ground, arms back up towards the sky. Inhale. Left elbow on your left knee. Your right arm behind you. Let's reach for that strap. So you're turning your hand over so you can grab the strap like a tricep press. Both hands to the strap yeah. to maybe walk foot forward even more, left foot forward, so you can really lean into this. Elbows in, chest is up. You take your hands higher for more intensity. Really keep expanding that. Good. Head is up. Nice. And left elbow back on your knee. Just turn to your right to gently release the strap, not like a rubber band, just let it go slowly. Hands to the ground again. Okay, right knee going up again. Now be strong in this. Climb the mountain of you. Walk your hands up your front knee. Take one arm, both arm up. Again, can you look up? As you exhale, hands to the ground. Good. Let's do that again. Inhale, try arms off to your side. Inhale up. Good. Exhale, hands to the ground. 
Good. Now one more big one. Inhale up. Less intensity, people. Hands just back to the ground. Otherwise, try palms together. Land your twisting lunge. Right elbow over your left knee. Good. And let's take hands out of that. Good job, everyone. Step back on your left foot. Left toes on the ground. Less intensity, people. Just drop your left knee down. Otherwise, can you take your left foot off the ground? Try some push-ups here. Up and down. And next time you exhale, just placing left foot down, left foot down. So, sorry, left knee down. Sorry. So just sit way back. So push backward. Two, sit up a little, swing your left foot to your right wrist, push backward here. Two, come on up, hop your left foot back underneath you. Big old split here, walk your hands backward, left toes up towards the sky, lots of breath. Try a little swing action here. Just a little fishtail, right leg going back and forth, or side to side rather. Mmm, enjoy that. Okay, lifting chest up. How about chest on thigh? Good, one more big breath. Nice job, everyone. Ease yourself out of that. Yeah, finding a little child's pose here. Just make sure everything's still there, right? Haven't lost anything. Nice. Good. Good work on that side. Of course, there's another side to do. So just reach behind you. Undo your foot cradles from your right foot. We'll do the other side. Right, so we're starting with your left knee on the ground. Left knee is on the ground. Right foot comes forward. Right foot comes forward. Right knee under, uh, over your right ankle. Starting slowly, <sighs> left knee going up and down. Good. Again, use your blocks if you need to. Don't. Give yourself a little space, you can do that. Exhales up. Time knee comes down, let's just walk your hands up onto your knee. One arm, both arm up. Heart is up. How about close your eyes here? Can you wiggle your fingers and toes? Nice. Good job being solid in this area. Palms together, left elbow over your right knee. Hands at your heart. Twisting right shoulder back. Can you look up? Now remember, less intensity. Look at the ground. Otherwise, keep looking up. Get off your left knee. With a big exhale, left knee comes up. Good. Now from here, can you stand up? Let's take your arms up towards the sky. So drive through your right foot, stand up. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, down to the ground. More intensity, follow your hand with your eyes. More intensity, add your twist in. Try going up and down with your twist. Good, good playing with it. One more. And the next time you're down, let's take hands to the ground. Good. To step back, drop on your right knee. Let your left leg get pulled backward. Don't feel it in your hip, maybe you feel it in your back. Work it out. Coming forward just a bit, swing your right foot forward. Right foot behind your left wrist. Try left foot swinging back here. Come on forward, hop 
right foot back underneath your knee. Big split, see what happens. Walk your hands backward, right toes up towards the sky, try swing. <laughs> Again, if this is too much, there's always another option for you. Just drop your left knee, be here. No worries. Wherever you are, chest up, lay chest on thigh. Right toes reaching back towards your face. Do one more big breath. Good, good, good. And come on forward, come on forward. Let's step your right leg back now for some push up. Toe on the ground, knee on the ground, leg up, push up. Try elbows in, shoulders out of your ears. One more big one. Good, let's just rest here in your child's pose. Nice. To take your hands, interlace your hands together. Yes, yeah, so you're making a V shape, making a V shape. Yeah, taking left leg back and for more, right leg comes back too, toes on the ground for more is up. Enough to stay here, but for more, how about little circles? Orbit your hands with your chin. Right? Again, toe can be on the ground or even knee on the ground. Just push out of your uh, shoulders, round your upper back, other direction. Good on that. Not only to come down, but let's turn over. Good, put on a strap. Nice job, everyone. You're on your back. Index fingers up. In the lower loops, in the foot cradles, dig your heels into the foot cradles. Just straighten your legs out. That's gonna feel good. All right, so as you're resting here, arms off to your side, palms are up. Walk your shoulder blades underneath you. As you exhale, butt whew, comes off the ground. Inhale, butt down, exhale, whew, butt goes up. Whew. How high can you get your hips to lift? Let's do one more big one. Good, arms overhead, we're sitting up. Inhale, fingers up towards sky, chin to chest, exhale, peel yourself off the ground. Reach for your straps. Good, to sit tall, chin to chest, exhale, roll. Good, let's do that one more time. Arms up towards sky, chin to chest, roll. <sighs> nice job, to sit up. Let's take your feet together, now feet together. Pull your feet to your heart. Your head lifts. You take your hands up to your straps now. Under your feet. Feet flat on the ground. Now, as best you can, don't use your leg muscles. Use your arm muscles. Climb, climb. Good, to lower back down. Dude, don't use your legs. If you really want to go for it, cross your legs and try. Pull. I can only do one hand. I can do more. Exactly, good. But getting yourself up, getting yourself up. Good, good work on that. Nice, guys. Let's take uh, a couple more things here. Let's take your right foot in both foot cradles standing here. It's going to be like a big bell. So hands, the higher you go, the easier it is. We're going out, you're standing split. So the farther you go, we're trying to go for straight arms, straight arms. Right, so that means the lower the hands, the farther out you have to go to get for straight arms. And when you come back, it's like a bell, pull. Pull yourself back in, right, exactly. Got a little support there. Try one more big one.
Nice and that. From here, tree. This beautiful tree that we're using. Thank you, tree. Let's take your right foot below or above your left knee. Your strap is there. You know it's there, right? But we're not going to use it. One hand, both hands to your heart. Shoulders up, back and down. Good head stays lifted. So that's the easy part. You guys got that. Now for more, close your eyes. Breathe into your thumbs. Your strap is there to catch you if you need to. You can play with that. <laughs> exactly. And if you really want to go for it, try coming up on your left toes while you're doing this tree. See if they do it. She's thinking about it. <laughs> good, good, good. Nice. One more breath. All right. Nice, guys. Good. Just shake it off. Shake it off. That's a lot. It's a lot of uh, mind muscle, too, working. Let's take your uh, left foot now in both foot cradles. Split other side. And, you know, maybe you don't get a chance to do the whole workout. Maybe yeah, you have some straps or something like this yeah, where you can just do a couple things. Anything you give yourself, yeah, it all adds up. The next time you come in, get ready. Tree rebooted. Shake your left foot below or above. And your right knee. If you really want to go for it, maybe make uh, left hand holding knee, making peace sign, holding toe, maybe extending left leg out. Eyes shutting, lots of breath. Can always back off. Maybe foot down here is cool. Yeah, the seniors I work with were here. Whatever's going to work for you, that's most important. Wherever you are, one more breath. Maybe on right toes. Good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good. Lower down now. You deserve a break. Good. Come onto your backs now. Come onto your back. So index finger yep. in your foot cradle to lean back. Good. Make sure you're not on a root like I am. That's better. Okay. Take a big stretch. Make like a big hammock that you can just hang out in. All right, to pull your knees into chest, knees into chest. Good. Left hand to your knees. Just a little twist to your, uh, to your right. So looking over just your right shoulder. This is very small. Big breath up and down your back. Side. He's on both sides. It's like a big stretch again. Arms overhead, legs forward. So maybe arms down by your sides to walk your shoulder blades underneath you. The last part of any yoga practice this is, is integration. Just taking your time to feel for the benefit of your work in all cells of your body. You need a whole body workout, all with your breath, and all with that added feature of the TRX. I feel how that air, this lightness, this buoyancy is in you. Take a few deeper breaths now to wiggle fingers, toes, maybe swallow. Just pull both knees in the chest, both knees in the chest to hug knees. Yeah. So if your feet come out of cradles, that's good. 
Just roll over onto your right side to get out of that. Just ease yourself up. Again, you're free of the straps. But thank you, straps. TRX, good work. Take your arms up towards the sky. Big breath in. And your hands right to your heart. Now your shoulders up, back and down. With your eyes shut, the last final breath of your practice. Ascend. A few breaths off to a person or a circumstance, maybe an ancestor, someone you want to honor today. Yeah. You're well, so let's wish wellness to someone else with a few breaths. Thank you for that generosity. Now your hands up to your third eye. Because yeah, you're ready, you're balanced, and let's be grateful for that. The divine in me honors the divine in you. Good work, everyone. Congratulations. Namaste, namaste.